the federal civil service has over 390,000 officers on its payroll, besides those in the military, paramilitary, and universities. However, recent revelations from the staff verification exercise conducted by the Civil Service Commission and the head of service of the Civil Service of the Federation shows that not every civil servant who is on the payroll is a genuine employee of the government. We discovered that in just one ministry alone, there were over a thousand individuals bearing fake letters of appointment. The Office of the Head of Service received another report, this time from the Federal Civil Service Commission itself, forwarding names of over 500 persons in various MDAs that possess fake letters of appointment. Employment scam is a major challenge in the Nigeria civil service system and many unsuspecting people have fallen victim to these scammers. Mr. Sampson, who prefers that his identity be hidden, is one of the numerous victims of employment scams in the civil service. Unlike those who made it into the government's payroll system before they were detected, he paid 600,000 naira for a civil service job, which he never got. I have a typical experience. I think this happened in 20, 2018 when a young man came to us and said uh, there were vacancies in the Ministry of uh, Labor and that he could walk a way out for us to get this job. In fact, he gave us instances, examples of people he has assisted to get this job and that are working right now in the Ministry of Labor and other ministries. So we thought it was genuine and went out for it. As I speak to you today, the job was not given. So that's the, my experience. It was a very horrible experience. How much was it? Can you we actually paid about 600,000. Records at the Federal Civil Service Commission show that apart from the over 1,500 fake employment letters uncovered by the head of service, 3,000 civil servants were delisted from the payroll after a verification exercise was conducted between 2013 and 2020. As I speak to you now, it's, it's ongoing. It's happening right now as I talk to you now. I, I think the other day somebody was telling me that if you want to get a job in uh, Nigerian in, um, Federal Inland Revenue Service or so, you pay about $3 million. And people who are looking for this money to pay for these jobs because these are plum jobs. Yeah, why work for some? A lot of people are not opportune to get this job. They just pay this money into the hands of scammers. The list of illegal employees in the Nigeria Civil Service seems to be endless, and the situation could get worse unless government takes more drastic measures to close the loose ends in the civil service recruitment process. What used to happen? was that once the Civil Service Commission recruits uh, officers, they go directly to their ministries. And so we lose the Office of the Head of Service that granted the waiver for employment now loses track as to how many people were employed. Was it the requisite positions that we needed to be filled in service was that what was filled. So now there's a proper procedure which um, all concerned has signed off to. Many have described the civil service as the engine room of any government as employees of the service help to drive and implement policies and directives of the government. This underscores the need to have a more credible and transparent recruitment system for the federal civil service.